hey, read me this file. And it will become an asynchronous then blocking. That's why Node.js, I don't know if they still do it. Like, like they, they, they say, like, we are asynchronous, non blocking. What do they call it? Framework? Runtime. Oh, JavaScript runtime. Right? And bun as well is the same thing, right? And that's because they can read from disk without being blocked. And the reason they do it is because they use this library, which does exactly the same thing we just discussed. They have a thread pool, and you can configure this thread pool UV, and you say, hey, file read goes there. If you want to block, you go through from uh, you go through the thread pool. If you want to do a socket IO read or accept, you go through ePool. Or if you're Windows, because ePool is a Linux thing, right? Uh, if you're Windows, you go through the I.O. completionist uh, uh, ports, I think that's what it's called, right? So there is like all these interfaces with all different you know, different kernels. Like even Mac has different things. KQ, I think that's what it has, what it's called. But yeah, so, so you can see this. Avoiding blocking operation is important. The second reason why you might need threads is... If, if the task is about you're about to execute is very CPU intensive and you have other, you know, more frequent tasks that you need to execute. An example is, is basically uh, you, you're building a backend that uh, has an API, right? And this API is, let's say, CPU intensive. Like, give me an example, does sorting for some reason. You're sorting some results, right? On the client side. I don't know why you would do it. Usually sorting, if you're reading something from the database, you sort it right there and then. But again, sorting is a very CPU-intensive operation, right? Tick, 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 tick. 